Hello everyone, we are the Lab Warriors. We are students from the Lab Singapore and our group consists of Mohong, Nathan and Wei Lun. Now, we are going to explain our project challenge for the U12 category. We decided to present our about task 1. For this task, we have used two strategies, test and debug, as well as divide and conquer. These strategies help us break down the task into different steps, allowing us to spend less time to figure things out. This helps us cut down on time and testing bottlenecks. Now, let us dive deeper into how we proceed with our divide and conquer strategy. Here's how we do it. First, we need to figure out what the smaller problems are, like listing all the little tasks we need to do. Next, we divide the tasks amongst our team. Each person gets a smaller part of the work. After everyone finishes their part, we bring all the pieces together to make one big solution. Finally, if there are any problems, we will put everything together, we fix them. It's like solving puzzles where some pieces might not fit perfectly at first. Now, let us look at the robot run process. When the robot starts to move off, it will need to turn right. We use the color sensor for the car to turn right when it senses the green on the floor. Next, it encounters a checkpoint. Again, we use the color sensor to detect the orange color on the floor and we set the car to move at speed of plus 10 with the LED on. This will apply to all the checkpoints that the car is passing through for this task. We use IR sensors to detect the various possibilities of the position of the white road as compared to the car and we turn the robot accordingly to adjust itself to the center of the road. At the fork here, we use the color sensor to force the car to move forward regardless of what the IR center has sensed, so that the car does not accidentally go onto the other road. As we are nearing the end, the car has to make one more right turn. The color sensor is used to detect the specific shade of green and turn right when it reaches there. Finally, at the last checkpoint, we use the color sensor to detect the orange as well as a time input so that the car only stops with LED blinking at this final checkpoint and not at the other checkpoints. Next, let's see how we can use the knowledge we've gained from the real world. Imagine we are working on an auto-driving car. Here's how we apply what we know. The car needs to recognize different markers on the road to drive safely. For example, the car must know when to stop, go, or slow down based on the traffic light colors. The car must follow the direction indicated by the arrows. The car must understand what each road sign means to follow the rules. Using our methods, we can teach the car to identify and respond to these markers accurately. Finally, let's discuss how we can share our experiences using AI tools. One of the most helpful AI tools we can use is ChatGPT. Here's how it helps us. ChatGPT can assist in writing, problem solving, and generating new ideas. It helps us improve the quality of our work and find creative solutions to problems. By sharing our experiences with AI's tools like ChatGPT, we can learn from each other and improve our projects even more. Thank you for listening. This is the Lab Warriors, signing off.